Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia Moor and in this video I'm going to show you how to add this um, deer ears head decoration. To be honest, I wasn't sure to make this video or not because I'm not fully liking how it looks, but I decided to do it. Maybe it's going to be still helpful for you. So let's close this project and we're going to start, start this new project by using this head decoration template. And also, I got this um, deer ear object uh, on some website. I got it with discount for $2.80. So I can leave the link in the description if you still like this one, this headband. But I'm not, um, it's not like perfect. So maybe you're going to find a better one. But I'm just basically, I got this uh, three different uh, type of uh, 3D objects and I'm going to use deer ear object and I'm just going to drag this deer ear here uh, to the assets panel. I'm going to close it this part. Okay, so now I will delete this hat. It's going to be block and I'm going to delete from the file and now it's disappeared from uh, the scene panel. It was like a delete here object and now I'm going to drag this dear ear to the drag here. So now as you see, it's like too big. So I'm going to change the scale to 0 0.1 for the X, 0 0.1 for the Y, and 0 0.1 for the Z. Okay, so now I'm going to pause, pause this um, video of myself. So, and also I can switch this from 3D to 2D. And now I'm going to just drag this handband a little bit down. And that's basically it. So also I want to show you what is head occluder is. So head occluder has this uh, occlusion mat and then you're gonna do it like uh, it's invisible but then you're gonna make it visible. This is basically represents our head and it helps to cover another part of 3D objects when I turn my head. So for example when I turn my head to the side it's gonna hide another part of the object. So you can turn on this when you adjust this headband so you can see better how it looks. And then when you're done, you can put it back away. And also I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go and search for the face mesh. And I'm going to make sure that this face mesh is under face tracker. So I'm just drag it on the face tracker. So if it's difficult for you to drag, you can just do this. You can do click, add, and then add, add uh, face mesh, but I already did it. And now you see that face mesh is showing not fully. So I'm clicking plus on the material, create new material. And to make it to show fully, so it covers entire face, I'm going to this material that I created. And I'm going to advanced render options. And I'm, click, I'm, uh, I'm clicking this one, use depth test. And now entire face is showing. And now I'm going to the uh, shader type and I'm clicking retouching because I want my face to look better. So that's basically it. And you can also play, um, let me show you quickly, you can also play with the rotation, rotation of this band because you see that something black is showing so you can put this band switching here and then you can like pull it a little bit down or up, so like this. So you need to set it up based on your uh, 3D model. That's why I'm not giving you actually this uh, data. I'm just teaching you how to move it yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and have a good day, guys. Bye bye.